All right, what's going on? My name is Kyle Welcher. Thank you for watching the video. And I know that if you've been watching this video for very long, you have seen my videos for very long, excuse me. You have seen me throwing a swim jig. Recently, it's been a white one primarily. And I've got tons of questions on what I, the way I work it, the trailer I use, the type of swim jig, tons of trailers on that, the rod, the reel, the braid, everything that I get asked about, I'm gonna address in this video. So better go over my entire swim jig setup right here. Okay, so the swim jig and how it became one of my favorite baits. Basically, I fished one tournament ever as a co-angler. I fished a few as a partner, fish out of the back, but one tournament in my life as a co-angler and the guy that I drew out with absolutely crushed him on this bait right here. He was throwing a white and a black and blue that day and I was behind him dragging a worm, throwing a spinner bait, throwing everything I knew to throw and he was catching so many two pounders on this, it was unreal and I was just struggling to get bites. I got home, ordered me some of these and went to work on my local lake with him. Started fishing my local lake, I won a few quite a few actually tournaments on it before like anybody threw it that I knew of on that lake and then I got away from it because I got on a frog bite that lasted like five years that was phenomenal and then the frog bite died I got back on this so basically the rod and the reel I just showed y'all in that little thing but Shimano Corrado 70 8.2 to 1 gear ratio 7 foot 3 medium heavy fast rod 50 this is actually 60 pound K, uh, K9 braid 9 strand. So this 60 strand, this 60 pound is about as thin as most companies 50 pound. So I throw a swim jig a lot. I like to have a big hook in it. I throw the Davis bait ones as y'all saw. This right here is a dirty jigs and I've just started experimenting with a Yankum custom tackle one that is but it's got a little bit something different I don't want to show just yet. But anyways always 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 throw it on braid so basically i like to have the braid because it gives me a direct connection to that jig and every time i move that rod it actually jerks that jig fluorocarbon it's going to have a little bit of a delay so this is the way that i work it i normally just roll cast it around all kinds of cover docks lay downs uh rocks every single thing grass is a big player and i just throw it out and i keep my rod tip high and i shake it just like this sometimes not that aggressively it's usually like this right here so basically, I'm gonna show you a chest cam footage of me uh, fishing this thing. I keep it six inches to a foot underneath the water and I just shake it underneath that water where I can see it. And it's about this late and I, basically I'm like jerking it and stopping it. And it's just, it's actually not moving that fast, but the bait is moving quickly than stopping through out there. And the fish absolutely destroy it when you fish it like that. Now, as far as trailers go, these are all white, obviously, but I throw these same style trailers on a black and blue or green pumpkin swim jig. So if I'm fishing a big field of hydrilla or lily pad stems where I'm just bomb casting it and just reeling it back in, I just put on a five inch uh, swim bait. This is not a hollow body or nothing like that. Just cut it like an inch and a half off of that. Thread this on, cast it out and wind it. It's as dumb as it can be, but it catches them just like a spinner bait or a chatterbait would, except actually, in my opinion, a little better. So if I'm fishing a vast flat with some vegetation on it i'll put this right here on the back of this dude and you got money now pre-spawn i like a big trailer like this that's the main thing that i change trailers for is the speed that i want to go i believe that the swim bait trailer this trailer and this trailer pretty much all catch the same fish but in the pre-spawn you put this big sucker on right here this big flapping joker and it slows that bait down so much and you can throw it up there around super shallow cover those fish are spawning on and keep jerking that bait and this trailer is going to slow it down so much it just catches all that water and it just stays up there super shallow and jerks along super slow like on table rock they would not touch this sucker you put on a small one like this and worked it way faster keep it up there super high and work it extremely fast and they were crushing it with this small trailer on like this so big trailer like this pre-spawn muddy water giant uh, fields of vegetation put this sucker on cast it and wind it and then clear water keeping it up high in the water column and working it fast i go to something small i've been throwing this smaller one for a little while now they they eat it you know this time of year in the post spawn they're feeding on small shed and they're moving very very fast to get them so in the fall 
small trailer and in the post spawn small trailer and I worked that sucker fast and just covered water with it so let's catch a few on it I've actually been out here today throwing it almost uh, not almost all day but for a good chunk of the day I've caught quite a few on it hunter caught quite a few on it so this is actually backwards but this is what we've been catching on this bait today hope y'all learned a little bit about this hope y'all pair the right rod seven foot three medium heavy or heavy depending on the brand always throw it on braid a super fast reel and you better have a hook to back it up because biggins are gonna bite it enjoy the rest of the video guys How about that? Smoke that dang thing, man. Oh, that was awesome. As soon as it hit the water, man, he just blew up on it like a top water. Freezing cold, man, that fish is cold. That's cool, though. Check that one out. Y'all see me throw this bait everywhere, man. Hope y'all got a good look at that. <clears throat> Cause that was cool. Man, I know that's probably loud, but I absolutely love watching these suckers come up and eat this dang swim jig right here. Small ones, but they biting. Y'all see old buddy right there? Mm. Golly, that was awesome. Man, I mean, crush that swim jig, dude. Stay on there, dude. I got him head the right, wrong direction. Man, that was awesome. I mean, smashed it. Well, that right there is going to be my last swim jig by the day, most likely. I'm going to pick up a different bait and catch some fish on something different. That was awesome. Came out of that freaking treetop and smashed it. Just such a pretty fish. This Hawassi River up here, the whole Lake Chickamauga really, these fish are just so healthy, so thick in the shoulders, so thick right there in the belly. Look at that big tail, they fight so hard. These fish are just so nice up here, man. I'm so glad I moved here. This place is awesome. They all got that little stripe down the side of them too. Hawassi's got it going on. Thanks, buddy. Well, I hope the guys that wanted to know something about my swim jig setup picked up a little thing or two. We caught a bunch on it today. It's one of the most fun ways to catch them, and that is mainly because you get to watch them come up and bite it. It's so much fun watch having that happen. And you get to cover a lot of water fish real fast, watch your bait come in the whole time. That's all a recipe for a fun daggum lure to throw. But as always, if you guys like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Channel's been growing fast lately. And it's all because of you guys. I appreciate it. It's been fun. See y'all.